This is our new piezo linear stage made with piezo buzzers. It's a very low cost, high precision nanometers precision of motion. So it's under a microscope. And here it is on the screen. This is the uh, something that is attached to the rod on this side of the screen here. This is the program I'm using to, to drive the piezo. I'm just going to put it here a little bit and we're going to watch this part here that it's going to move. So I've got a camera, USB, plugged into my computer. This piezo here is connected through wires to our sensory piezo driver, which is this one here, which is controlled with a DAC card, plugs into the computer. So let's go. Let's do some tests. I'm going to move this piezo a unit to the right. Reset. And reset. I'm going to change the orientation instead of minus one. I'm going to put one. So now it's going to move to the other side. I can do here some oscillatory motion. So I'm going to choose. Uh, waveform, and I'm going to choose the sign, make 10 cycles, frequency 1 hertz. So let's see it. I'm going to go for 10 cycles at 1 hertz, which follows pretty well. Okay, let's increase this with, uh, make it at 2 hertz. One, two, three, go. There you go. Make it at frequency 0 0.5 hertz. Seems to be pretty stable. I'm going to reset to zero. And there you go. Nice. So what we see here on this side here, this is the metal rod and this is some dust that is attached to the metal rod. What I'm going to do now, while it's still moving, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the, the metal rod that was moving. I'm just going to refocus a little bit. Maybe on the tip of the rod. So the metal rod that we see here on the computer, it's actually this, this metal rod right here which is attached to four piezo buzzers that are coupled two by two. And this is what drives the rod, essentially. Sorry for my, the quality of my camera, but I just uploaded another video on YouTube about, um, which is higher resolution of the motion of, of the piezo. Uh, let me just try one more time to do some oscillation now that we can see the rod. Obviously, I'm zoomed out, so the motion will be a little smaller than before. I'm just going to put this window closer to the, to the to a point where you can detect the motion. There you go. Obviously, when I'm zoomed in, we can see a lot better. Uh, the rod is almost one almost one and a half millimeters wide so you can have an idea about the motion. It's just a fraction of a millimeter with very high precision. Um, and increase the amplitude to 1.5 and do another whoops, just put it to zero. No, it doesn't want to do it. I think I have a problem with my program. 
Probably that's why it doesn't. Uh, yeah, the program has a little problem. So let me let me try 1.3 of um, amplitude. Oh, for some reason it doesn't want to go. Let's try one. When oh, it works pretty well. There you go. So really happy. Works. Uh, this is the third prototype that we're making, and I think it's it's ready to go for some crowdfunding. Thanks for watching.